are you a medico who is eager to learn about mysteries of human body if so prepare to embark on a journey on one of the most intriguing yet often misunderstood region of the anatomy the myobacterial orifice of fluids often students find themselves grappling with its complexities fearing they might miss out on critical knowledge but fear not for in this video we are about to demystify the myobacterial orifice and veiling its secrets layer by layer join us as we delve into the significance its role in hernia pathology and most importantly the solution to the challenges it presents so by the end of this video you will not only conquer the myopectin orifice of the fricots but you will emerge as a more confident and knowledgeable medical professional hello and welcome to the channel my name is dr khazia refuddin and you are watching medicos first let's understand the myopectin orifice and the anatomical basis of groin hernias fricots myopectin orifice commonly abbreviated as mpo it is a crucial anatomical structure within the inguinal region in 1956 henry fricots postulated that all groin hernias essentially originate in a single weak area which he called the myopectinal orifice this is a funnel like and a potential space which is osseo myo aponeurotic tunnel where all inguinal and femoral hernias occur making its study pivotal for surgeons specializing in hernia repair let's see about the boundaries the myopectinal orifice is bounded by various anatomical landmarks each contributing to its structure and consequently its potential weaknesses the key boundaries are medially it is bounded by the lateral border of the rectus shift laterally the iliopsoas muscle and external iliac vein inferiorly the pectin pubis and the fascia covering it including cooper's ligament superiorly the arched fiber of internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle including the conjoint tendon now quickly see the structures and significance of mpo the mpo is a funnel like structure that contains various critical components of inguinal canal it is divided into superior and inferior compartment by iliopubic tract and the inguinal ligament with the inferior epigastric artery bisecting the superior compartment thus the direct and indirect hernias are visualized in the superior compartment and the femoral hernias in the inferior compartment the superior medial compartment of the myopectinal orifice corresponds to the original hasselbeck triangle from where the direct inguinal hernia comes out understanding the proper exposure of this compartment is essential for correct diagnosis and effective surgical repair fruka's recognition of mpo's significance revolutionized the hernia surgery surgeons now understand that hernia occur due to weakness or defect within this orifice thus the surgical technique for hernia repair aim to reinforce these weakened areas to prevent the recurrence proper exposure of mpo during surgery is crucial for successful hernia repair in laparoscopic hernia repair the concept of covering entire mpo with large mesh has become a fundamental principle this technique addresses the potential spaces where hernias can occur reducing the risk of recurrence This contrasts with the traditional open repair method which used the smaller meshes focused on specific defect. 15 to 20 cm mesh is used in laparoscopic repair as it is the posterior repair whereas 6 by 10 cm mesh is used in the open hernia surgeries because it is anterior repair. Let's see the importance of proper technique. Understanding the MPO's anatomy is vital for avoiding complications such as nerve damage, vessel injuries during the surgery. the inferior epigastric artery for example bisect the superior compartment of mpo necessitating careful dissection to avoid injury so in conclusion fricots myopectinal orifice represents a key anatomical region in the study and treatment of groin hernia its structure and boundaries have a direct impact on surgical technique and patient's outcome by reinforcing the entire mpo a surgeon can significantly reduce the risk of hernia recurrence This approach has become a standard in modern hernia repair, offering improved outcome for patients and enhancing the overall success of the hernia surgery. If you found this video helpful, then do press the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.